All right, in this video, we're going to look at a confusing topic that can you can get confused between uh, it, when you're working with equations, two things that confuse people, all real numbers versus no solution. Um, look at this equation down here. Uh, x plus 3 equals x plus 3. What do you notice about these? You have the same thing on both sides. Notice that. X plus 3 equals x plus 3. When you have the same thing on both sides, that is an example of uh, the answer would be all real numbers. That will be your answer. Um, the reason why, because you can take any number in the whole wide world, 50. What's 50 plus 3? That's going to be 53. Well, if we plug in 50 over here, 50 plus 3 is equal to 53. So we're getting the same thing on both sides. 50 is not the only number that would work. You could plug in any number you want. You could plug in 20. 20 plus 3 is 23. 20 plus 3 equals 23. Um, any number, negative numbers will work. Anything you want. Um, but people, that you get into this motion of trying to solve an equation, and, and you don't even notice this sometimes. So you might keep on going. You might say, well, hey, I want to get the x on one side. So if we subtract x, what happens here is that the x's cancel out on both sides. And, and students start saying, well, the answer is 3 then, because they get 3 over here, and it's equal to 3 over here. Well, the answer is not 3. Notice you have the same thing on both sides. Whenever you have the same thing on both sides, it's all real numbers. Um, another thing that you might do instead, you might do something like this. Instead of moving the x's over, uh, you might move the 3's. You might move the 3's. Let's see. Let's subtract 3 from both sides. Just showing you different things you can do here. So now the 3's cancel out. What do you have left over? You have x equals x. What do you notice? You have the same thing on both sides. The answer to this equation will be all real numbers. Now, we're going to do some harder examples in a second, but uh, I'm trying to get the idea out there. Well, this is an example of all real numbers. Now, a no solution example would be something like this. No solution means no number in the whole wide world would work. For example, something minus 5. Take some number and subtract 5 from it. Any number you want. Say 20. What's 20 minus 5? 20 minus 5 is 15. Well, if you take 20 plus 2, you get 22 over here. It, there's no way this is going to work out. It is impossible to take a number and subtract 5 from it and get the same thing as when you take that number and add 2 to it. But then again, you might just be working through this, and you might say, okay, hey, I want to get my x's on uh, one side. But notice when you subtract x from both sides, the x's cancel out. What are you left with? Negative 5 equals 2. That does not make sense. So when you get something that just doesn't make sense, the answer is not negative 5. The answer is not 2. The answer is no solution. It is impossible for these two sides, or these two equations to be equal to each other, or these two expressions to be equal to each other. It is impossible to take a number and subtract 5 from it, and take that same number and add 2 to it and get the same thing. No way possible. Um, you might look at it a slightly different way. You might try to do this. Um, let me get rid of these crosses, or these little dotted lines. Now you might say, hey, let's get the uh, let's move the 5 over. You might want to move the 5. Let's add 5 to both sides. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so the 5's cancel out over here. What do you have? Over here on this side, you have x equals. Over here, you have x plus 7. Look at that. Look at what you got. It is impossible for a number to be equal to that number plus 7. Impossible. No way that'll work out. Um, and you might not recognize it there. But it just doesn't make sense. And you might say from here, hey, let's get the x's on one side. If you subtract the x, uh, the x's cancel out over here. x minus x, it cancels out. Really, x minus x is 0 equals, bring down your 7. That does not make sense. That does not make sense. So it's no solution. Now, two tougher examples. You're not always going to have it laid out for you like that. So let's solve this equation, or try to, real quick. Let's distribute the 20. So we have 20 in, 
and then let's take 20 times 5, that's going to be plus 100, is equal to, let's distribute over here, 4 times 25 is 100, and then 4 times 5n, that's plus 20n. Now, notice, take your time, look at this, you have the exact same thing on both sides. Look at what I just wrote on the last page. When you have the same thing on both sides, which we do have that here, this will be all real numbers. Can I move that over here? Absolutely. All right, so that's all real numbers right there. You had the same thing on both sides. Let's zoom back in on that. Now, if you didn't notice it there, uh, you might say, well, hey, let's get the ends uh, on one side. If you subtract 20 in from both sides, the 20 ends cancel. You have 100 equals 100. Notice you have the same thing on both sides. The answer is not 100. The answer is all real numbers. And the moral of the story is this. You can take any number in the whole wide world, any number you want. If you take 20 times that number and add 100 to it, you'll get the same thing as taking 100 plus 20 times that number. The property that you need to be thinking about here when you see it like this is commutative, commutative property. You can switch that order around and you still get the same thing. Now let's look at this example. So um, let's, uh, nothing to do over here. We cannot combine these. These are not like terms. So we have 7x minus 2. Over here on this side, however, when you distribute, you have 7x minus 49. Now you might not notice it right there. But it is impossible to take 7 times a number and subtract 2 from it and get the same thing when you take 7 times a number and subtract 49 from it. Impossible. Can't do it. And you might not recognize it there, but hey, let's try to get the x's on one side. Subtracting that 7x, notice that actually ends up canceling out the x's. What do you have left? Negative 2 equals negative 49. That does not make sense. The answer is not negative 2. The answer is not negative 49. The answer is no solution. It just does not make sense. That's the way I think about it. But uh, more of the story here is this. It's impossible to take 7 times a number and subtract 2 from it and get the same thing when you take 7 times that number and subtract 49 from it. So uh, there is an explanation of all real numbers versus no solution. Um, take your time sometimes. You know, when you're going through and solving these equations, look at what you're actually solving and, and see if it makes sense or not. And, and maybe that might help uh, you decipher whether it's going to be all real numbers or no solution, or hey, you might end up getting an answer. But uh, that's it for this video. Hope it helped.